Okay, we want to create a simulation model that can be utilized in this spree for this Sandvik boring bar. So I'm going to point out a couple things here. When I read this in, you know, just like everything else, we want the blue vector to be pointed in toward basically the static holder or the sleeve that this is going to slide into and that is correct so we don't need to worry about that but here on the uh, the red we want our insert you can see that the insert is pointing this way and the red is pointing downward so what I'm gonna do is just say select all and I'm gonna pick uh, copy right click and copy and then say rotate move we're gonna say 180 degrees <clears throat> we're gonna uncheck the origin and I will go ahead and select that line and by doing so now we can see that the red and the insert do indeed match up so be another thing too is is these these holders they have they have an angle to them so Esprit does not technically support how the angle sits with the insert you can see that you know it's got this rake to it so what Esprit is going to do when we have the the insert in there is it's going to go ahead and um, generate an insert that's sitting vertically but uh, we're gonna make a holder and a position for the insert for this anyway so let's go ahead and do that okay so this has three solids I believe there's a or there's one for the for the actual stick out tool and then one for the insert so we'll see that a lot of these will have uh, an insert that is a separate solid. I've noticed that, which is nice. Um, so what we're going to do here is go to the Home tab. You have these tabs at the top. Go to Home. Go to the end here to Show Hide. And we're going to turn on our Solids tab. And uh, when you turn on the Solids tab, you're going to get some data in here. Uh, what I want to do is... Um, you know, because again, the insert that Esprit is going to generate is going to be in line with the, uh, what is that, the, uh, the XZ plane. Yeah, of course, the XZ plane. So we're going to go ahead and select this face, just the face, and we're going to right click inside the solids. Uh, uh, dialog box or window here and you'll see a preview because of this face has a, 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 a limit to the X Y and Z axis of what I've selected and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select I'm going to select the uh, create the bounding box so what the bounding box is at when it's created is it's basically the X Y and Z limits of this face and the reason that I did that is because when you look at it it's really close to where the tip of the tool is going to wind up in Esprit so when you're on your machine and you want to touch this tool off you know what are you gonna do you're gonna you're gonna touch off you know basically an X and Z and that's what this box represents. It represents that uh, limit or that maximum value that you would, just like you would touch this off at the machine. So right now, uh, what we can do with this is come in and create a TA position. So the TA position, we're going to come here we're going to create, uh, sorry, we got to create the work plane first. <laughs> so here, actually, my work plane is at, at the zero, zero, zero point. Let's just go ahead and translate that. And I'm just going to go ahead and say translate. 
and then I'm going to pick the corner of that box. So if you watched a couple of the other videos, um, you'll see when you create an insert, it's going to be right at the UVW. So there's the UVW, so when we create an insert at the tip here, it's going to be created at this position. So we'll just need to make sure that the size of the insert, the width of the insert and everything is, is close to this. But the cutting point of this insert versus the one in the spree is going to be very, very close. And, uh, you know, I think that's good enough for now. So what we're going to do now is just come here and say, let's create a TA underscore one. And because this holder here doesn't ever really have another adapter or holder that's going to be added to this, you're just going to be creating an insert. We don't need to create an HA underscore one here. Uh, but what I might want to do, though, is... Uh, well, let's see here. Let's uh, put this on a separate layer. So I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to call this, uh, I'll just call it the stick. I'm going to come here and select this guy, come to Properties, and under General, you can change your layer here. I'll just put that on Stick, turn that off, and I see my insert. And what I might want to do is come over here and say translate pick this center and just for the future I'm gonna call this TA underscore center and I'm gonna click on this right click and say rename and make this TIP for tip whoop TIP for tip so I've got a tool adapter position at the tip and a tool adapter position at the center. So I have these two. And now, actually, I don't need any of this anymore, and I, I definitely don't want this solid uh, included in my GDML because I'm going to have a sprees, uh, you know, solid created for the, uh, for the tip there. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of turn this guy back on and we're going to come over to File, Save As. We're going to come here to Holder File. And under Data, you just save it wherever you want on your hard drive. For me, I had this in the Sandvik under Turning, and then I just had a folder here for Boring Bar. So I'm just going to put it here. Boring Bar. And that's it. So let's go and load a machine. So we're going to come to Okuma, and I'm going to pick, uh, what am I going to pick here? Let's pick this guy. So we're going to look at this, say OK, go to Tool Assemblies, add an adaptive item, and I want to add this boring bar to that velocity that I did in a previous video. Now, of course, this is a Capto holder, and we'll swap that out later, but uh, we're looking at it. So we just want to place that holder to see if it fits in the position. So add adaptive item holders. I saved mine under Sandvik, turning, boring bar. I'm going to pick this guy and it's going to fit in there. Now here, you know, it's going to sit inside the sleeve, so I could just move that into the sleeve should this have had a sleeve. This is again the C5, but no big deal. I could come over here and edit this to a different holder, and we'll go back to Velocity Sumatic. Come over here, and uh, we got this main sub deal here. We got a boring bar here. This one looks like it's about the same deal, and we can see that it sits in that sleeve really nicely. Let's turn the machine off. Actually, let's turn off both of the uh, machine. 
So looks like this sleeve actually is a little bit larger than the or I, the, the stick tool is a little bit larger than the, the sleeve size of this particular uh, maybe maybe not no, no it is yeah because there's no I don't see the uh, the bore over here so but anyway um, so you can see how they interface with each other you can swap out different uh, holders there no problem at all so looking at it we've got our boring bar here gonna right click come to add a tool put on an insert and looks like on that last one that I did the insert is uh, fits in there pretty good uh, just real quick here you know on the the uh, shank tab you basically want to zero everything out because we're using a GDML holder for the stick tool itself uh, as opposed to the automatically generated one that Esprit would make for you so what we want to do is just set all this stuff to zero so that that doesn't appear uh, and then here on the insert you want to set your you know your values so I'm looking at the insert nose radius here you know 16 or an 8 thou or you know maybe make this uh, 32 so you can see the insert uh, nose radius will change but if I look at it now um, actually so the insert is actually sitting on the opposite side of where we made our uh, work plane so what I'm going to do is just switch this over to the right uh, but again because the actual insert is angled it has those rank angles to it um, this is not gonna you know looking at you know straight on it's not going to look exactly like it would sit in there <clears throat> you know you could increase the thickness you know if I made this a uh, quarter inch it would sit in there like that um, anyway set it to whatever you want um, the bottom line is uh, you know you're getting your tip basically where it's going to be on the part and all of your collision checking here is going to be uh, your your holders that you have so that's it um, that's how you would create you know your your components for a uh, ID turning assembly uh, check out some of the other videos